Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Yinky. Not long ago, I did a tutorial on how to cut and sew this type of exaggerated sleeve, and people keep on asking me how I did the bustier and how I cut and sew it. So right now, I want to show you how I did the cutting and the sewing of this bustier. So this is the picture. This will remind you of that video on my channel. So you can go for it right now. I'm going to put the link in the description box. But right now, this is the one that I just did. So I use this green Ankara to do this one and you can see it's still the same type of bustier and the same sleeve just that this sleeve is not that exaggerated like the former sleeve so i'll start by cutting the pattern and what i did here is that i have input all the vertical measurement but i will show you how i did that so you're going to place your tape measure like so then when you place your tape measure take first of all take four inches off so I took four inches off like so. Then my bust, the bust point is still 10 on the vertical. The under bust is still 14 on the vertical and the half length is still 16 on the vertical. So you take the neck depth, neck depth of five inches. So you can see the four that I took off on the tape measure. So you take the neck depth of five inches. Depends on how deep you want your whole neckline. But for this tutorial, I want the neck depth of five inches. So you can still go deeper. You can go as deep as seven inches. You can go as deep as six inches. So, but I, I am using five. Five is moderate and decent. So after uh, having done that, the next thing is to take you to the measurement. These are the measurements I'm using. The bust circumference is 36. The vertical measurement, I mean the breast point is 10. And you can see the under bust also is 14 and, and also the under bust measurement also on the circumference you can check the measurement back to confirm and here the next thing to do is to input the nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and that is what i'm just inputting which is 3.5 that's the bust span nipple to nipple measurement is seven divided by two give me 3.5 then you input it up till your neck line so from the half length to the neck line then you start by inputting your dart so you start by inputting your dash. You come to the neckline. The first thing to do is come to the neckline. Take half of an inch on this side. So I will take half of an inch here. I'll just make sure you take note of the points. Then I will take one inch here on the other side. Take one inch. Making one and a half. That intake on the neckline. Then on the bust line, up here I will take one inch up and one inch down. To avoid pointed edges on the bust line. Then I connect like this. So I will use my curvula to bring it out more. Then I'll come to the under boss. I'll take one inch here. One inch will be taken here and another one inch will be taken on the other side. So I will repeat the same process on the half length. One inch here and one inch here also. So having done that, I'll connect all the points. So just take note of how I'm connecting the points. So I'll connect all the points like so. So I'm using my curvula. So you just need to know how to place your curvula to do all this bustier pattern. So I'll connect it like so. You can see it's not pointed. It's roundish and it's, the shape is very, very smooth. Then you take one inch down here. It depending on how you want it. But at the end of the day, when I took this one inch, I, see, I noticed that the one inch is not enough. I needed to go deeper. So I go deeper by taking one inch from the upper chest. So I just took one inch up from the upper chest. That's my neck depth. So you can go as deeper as you can. You can go as deep as upper chest level. Upper chest level is still okay. But mine is just one inch from the upper chest. This is kind of a sweet heart neckline. So I'm trying to make a sweet heart neckline. Then I take the neck width here. Take note, the neck width. So I have three inches on this center panel. Three inches, as you can see, that's where it stopped. So I will take another two and a half, making it five and a half width for my neckline. So, as you can see, that means off shoulder two has neck width. Off shoulder also has neck width. So here I take my boss divided by four, which is nine. Then here I input the boss measurement on the upper chest. Then add the dart intake that is here. The dart intake is almost half of an inch. Then I put it plus the bust and also half inch is. Then also here, the under bust measurement, the circumference divided by four will be put. Then I will add all the dart intake. I have two inches dart intake here plus the 
upper the half length circumference measurement divided by four. And that is what I have. Whatever measurement you have on the circumference, just make sure you input all the data intakes. Input all the data intakes. Then I'm going to connect this to the former neck width that I just put the other time. So here, note, I've not input the uh, sewing allowance. And that's the sewing allowance is what I'm inputting now. So I'm inputting sewing allowance of two inches. Two inches will be very, it will be okay and will be enough. So then all this they are my dart intake which, which will be cut off later so i'm going to add half in sewing allowance here on the half length half in sewing allowance is added here then up here also i'm going to add half in sewing allowance on the neckline so that one i'll add i've added that then i'll take one inch dart intake here in order to balance with the back i will explain that when i get to the back because our back is always shorter on the length on the vertical then our front so i'll use this one inch to take that off on the this is a side that which will land on the bust line bust line then i'm going to mark the dart intake like so so when i get to the back i'm going to explain how this will blend with the back measurement so this will avoid bulging on the zipper line and it will also avoid bulging on the back side. And this dart intake will also make your dress to sit well on your body. So after I have done that, the next is to cut out. Then I'll be taking all my dart intake right away. So take note how I do that. So I'm going to take it out carefully like so. So I'm going to relabel like this. I'm, going, I'm still going to relabel like this so that there won't be any mix up. So this is what I have after cutting. I can match it up like this. So having done that, the next thing is to go to this dart intake and fold it in like so. Just fold it the way I did it. Then use my paper tip to play to, to, to close that intake. So I'm going to close it up like this. So here is the back pattern. This is the zipper allowance. And also, all the vertical measurement has been taken the way I did the front. So you can see, I took 4 inches off also. And um, you are going to bring your front and use it to cross-check if everything is in line with what you did on the front pattern. So having done that, I'll just go ahead. And because the neckline at the back is always deeper, so you go deeper. So I'm go just going to take one inch up so that's one inch i'll take it then i'm going to rule a line so this will just be as if you are still replacing the neckline at the front on the back line also but here you're going to take the neck width of 5.5 the way we did on the front panel i'll take 5.5 that's the neck width and connect it like so on the upper chest level you can still go deeper you can still go deeper than this but high will be stopping on the upper chest so this is the neckline and here is the bust span the 3.5 for the that for, for the bust span that's what i'm intake, that i'm putting here so i'll just put 3.5 then on a straight line i will rule this line it will stop on the upper chest then take that intake of half of an inch on both sides of the dart leg then connect it to the upper chest it's as simple as that so this back is not difficult at all so after i've done that the dart intake will be put then the circumference measurement divided by four is what i'm going to replace here starting from the zipper allowance i will input the circumference measurement divided by four then also i will come on the bust line the circumference measurement divided by four will also be placed here which is the bust and the bust measurement will also be placed on the upper chest then i'll connect like so so here this is the upper chest arm o so i'm going to do something here you know that the the there is a dart intake of one inch here then we are going to adjust that on the back because i told you the back is always short of one inch thereabout the back is not as long as front so i will take one inch off here so this one inch will be taken away so if your back is if your front is 16 
on the half length. That means your back will be 15. So take a tape measure and try and check it out. Your half length at the front is shorter than your, at the back is shorter than that of the front. So I did that and I had the sewing allowance of two inches. So after I have done that, I added half inch sewing allowance on the half length so that I'll be able to join it to the skirt. And two pieces of this will be cut. So we have the back drafted already. And uh, this is the sewing allowance is added after I took that one inch away. So I'm just going to cut off, cut out like so. Then we have the front and the back. So the bar, this front, this side will be cut on fold. This side will be cut on fold. Then here is my fabric. This is the organza for the sleeve. And also this is the lining, the zipper, the thread. And I also have the hemming gum. And also different type of interfaces that I use to make the bustier. So here I have the wording. And also... The wording is cut this way. It covers the bust and also the under bust. And it goes like four inches from the upper upper bust up. So having done that, I used my iron to gum it to the main fabric. And also on the lining, I put the paper stay there so that it will also form like a kind of it will be it will stabilize the cup on the lining. So I'm going to join the side to the center front like so after gumming my wording. So make sure you use a thick wording for this. So I'll go I'll I'll sew it with half of an inch. So I'm joining the side to the center front like so with half of an inch. So I'll do that carefully. I'll do that carefully. Then I'll just go ahead and do that carefully. Then after I'm done with one side, I'm going to do the other side also. So wording is a kind of strong interfacing that we use to to package the post area. So we call it wording in Nigeria. So we have the soft, the hard, it, it has levels. So you can just, you can get the, the hardest one is the one I'm using for this tutorial. So having done that, I'm going to use another stitch this one also attach it with half of an inch also on this side then i'll just go ahead and do that carefully just go ahead and do that carefully just follow the sewing allowance so after after i have done that the result is this so i'll just show you the result now you can see it's very beautiful the cup really came out well so this is the sleeve it's a kind of band that the sleeve will be attached to the length is 10 inches and the width is two it's two two inches it is wide by two inches and the length is 10 inches so i just make it unfold it will now be five inches so and you could remember that we took four inches off so at the end of the day what i have here will really fit in into the so i'm going to fold this to the back this will extend to the back. I'm trying to check the breast point 10 before I attach the back. So I will attach the back bodies now. The back has been joined together and I will just attach it. Place it on the shoulder like so also. So I will attach. So after I have attached this, the this is like uh, where the sleeve will be attached to. It's just like a band. So I'm going to attach it like so. And after I have done that, the next thing is to input my measurement. So I'll first of all I will input measurement separate. I will input measurement on the main fabric separate and also on the lining separate. So here I'm trying to input the measurement. Then after I've input the measurement, I can cut off the excess sewing allowance. So after I've do I'm done with the inputting of measurement, I will stitch like so and cut off excesses. So what I did here, I will do on the other side also. And I will do the same thing on the lining. So I have joined the cup for the lining. Then I will be using it to turn the main fabric. So I'm placing it like so. Like I told you, I put a gum stay, like a paper stay on the lining also. The same way I cut my 
main fabric i cut the wording that's the same way i'll cut so i'll be turning this main fabric on the neckline so when i get to the armhole i'm not going to turn the armhole or armhole i will stop so i only i only use pin to hold the neckline so i will skip the armhole because the armhole will take the sleeve will still be fixed on the armhole so i'm not going to turn the armhole so i will skip that and continue on the center front on the front so i will just go ahead and turn the front also so what i'm using to turn is half of an inch so where i use my hemi gum is after stitching this neckline i'm going to top stitch first of all you first of all notch then you top stitch then you hang on properly with your hemi gum i'm going to place the hemi gum on this neckline i will push it inside on the neckline and hang on it so that the neckline will relax the lining will not be showing uh turning showing at the front at the front of the fabric so i don't want the lining to be turning over so that's why i need the hemming gum to do that magic for me so having done having turned this neckline i'm done with the neckline right now then i'll turn to the right side so, so i'll just go ahead and turn to the wrong side like so notch the neckline notch the sewing allowance then i'll top stitch on the lining then hang on it properly with my hemming gum i'll put my hemming gum on the inside on the neckline so having done that this is the result you can see it is very beautiful for the video of the sleeve i'm going to put the link in the description box so that you'll be able to have access to it and uh, if you like this video please share like and if you have any comments drop it in the comment section i'm going to reply as soon as possible